24-year-old male presents to the ER with generalized pruritus and breathlessness. Dr. Patrick examines the patient and finds that the patient has generalized urticaria. General examination is normal. Vitals are stable. Respiratory system reveals bilateral generalized ronchi. Other systems are normal. Dr. Patrick administers injection epinephrine, 0.5 mg. He administers two liters of oxygen by face mask and also nebulization with albuterol. He further administers 50 mg of diphenhydramine IV and a normal saline infusion. Dr. Patrick asks for a CBC, renal function test, liver function test, ABG, serum tryptase level, histamine allergy test. Patient becomes stable. Dr. Susan informs Dr. Patrick that serum tryptase level is elevated. This points towards anaphylaxis. Now they get a call that the patient is desaturating. Dr. Patrick intubates the patient. Even after intubation, saturation levels are not improving. ETCO2 level suggests endotracheal intubation. This is further confirmed by flexible fiber optic bronchoscopy. Blood pressure and saturation is falling drastically. According to Dr. Patrick, three things can further aggregate the initial anaphylaxis. Simple face mask, the cannula used to administer medicine, and the endotracheal tube. All have one thing in common, PVC. Dr. Patrick re-intubates the patient with a silicon-based endotracheal tube. The patient drastically improves after re-intubation. The real management of anaphylaxis lies in finding the cause. This is Dr. George and thanks for watching.